at Cheyenne Mountain Library for Pikes Peak Library District and today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious treats. Okay, so here's what you need to make them. You need a large bowl. I would consider this a medium bowl. If you have a bigger bowl, use the bigger bowl. This is what I have. You're going to need a, uh, this is an 8x8 pan and I've just got a little parchment paper in there. Parchment paper is optional, it helps, but you don't like super need it. It's recommended though. You need a spatula. You need a measuring device. Okay, we've got a medium saucepan. All right, for food things, you need peanut butter. Got a backup peanut butter over here. You need um, Rice Krispie treats or um, probably like any old puffed rice cereal. Um, you need marshmallows. We're gonna be using up these um, these marshmallows first, but then we'll prep. Well, we're gonna have to break into that. You'll need an entire bag's worth, pretty much. Uh, we need white chocolate. We've got two bags of white chocolate. We will be melting these both. Um, they are each 11 ounces. So together that's 22 ounces. So that's how much white chocolate you need. And we need some semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, we won't be using the whole bag of these. Um, you can if you want. Step number one is to put four cups of Rice Krispies into this bowl. Four cups. Into the bowl! Yay! Second step, we are going to melt our white chocolate. I'm going to set that aside for now. Is this what ASMR is? Ooh. That's some good ASMR. Second egg going in the pot. Alright, we're going to melt this over a low and slow heat. Okay, here we go. We are turning the burner on as low as, low as it goes. Um, it's very easy to burn chocolate, so be careful while you do this. Um, lowest heat possible. Um, and you're going to be constantly stirring and waiting for those chips to start to get melty. Alright, so we've got very runny white chocolate. Now there's a little, there's like a couple little chunks in there, but it, it's okay. That's alright. We're doing half a cup, but peanut butter is sticky. And I do not like to measure it in a cup measure. So we are just going to eyeball it. I'm going to say that's just under a quarter cup. Okay. So we got that. Oh, and here we go. Here's our other approximately a quarter cup. That's definitely in the neighborhood. Um, there we go. So the peanut butter is getting melty and it is melting in there getting real yummy. You can see it's kind of like ribboning out. We are going to put our peanut butter white chocolate mix into the bowl of Rice Krispies and we are going to fold them together. Be sure to scrape down the sides. Gosh, I could just eat that up right now. This is a really good time for a taste test if you catch my drift. Alright, so we're just going to fold it. And there's been a lot of debate. I've heard a lot of people don't know how to fold. And here's what you do. You just fold it. Like that. Folding. Thusly. Okay? Basically, you're going to scoop from the bottom and essentially just like plop half of it on top of the other half. That's how you fold. It's just a really gentle method of stirring so you don't break up stuff. The next step is to add our marshmallows. So we want an entire bag's worth, um, but we've got these to use up first. So here goes the tail end of this bag. 
and here's some more. Like that many. Um, that's probably a bag's worth. We've got like half of this one left. Alright, again with the folded. sure you've got all of your marshmallows incorporated. Now we're going to go ahead and do um, to your semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, and this is according to your preference. I like to do um, maybe just a little bit over a half a cup. So here they go in. Um, yeah, that's probably good. Oh, there's a little speckle more. Alright, that's definitely good. Well, that might be too much. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, and we're folding those in. So make sure that your parchment paper is kind of centered in there. And then we are just going to do a pour. Ready for this? Mmm. Be careful. Moment of truth. Ah! Parchment paper, no! Okay. Good, we're good. So a 9 by 13 pan would also work really well here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of overflowing. So we're just going to like kind of just gently press it into the sides. We want this thing to stay fluffy. Now we are going to let that sit and cool completely. I use a pretty sharp knife for this. It just helps the whole process go a little bit faster than I think it would if we were to use a not sharp knife, but look at this. Hey, that's pretty good, right? All right, so I'm gonna cut it into approximately one inch slices, um, probably a little bit over an inch, but um, there we go. Make sure it doesn't fall off the counter. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Mm. All right, so here we go. Here it is. Here I am. I'm gonna eat it. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is everything I want from a treat.